resetting cupboards and store staples. This is probably going to be the fastest lesson, but it will add value to the whole process. And it's something I do want you to do. It's an important sort of shake up that we're gonna do. Cleaning out your cupboards and storage areas will clean old stagnant energy. And remember, we're all about resetting the lifestyle here. So what we need to do is clear out the old sort of stuck in a rut feeling. So how we do that is by clearing out your cupboard space. Now, before you start this, why don't you just open the windows, turn on some music, maybe put a diffuser in the background because the whole thing is about shifting the energy. It's about clearing your space. So empty your kitchen cupboards. I want you to take everything out onto the worktop. Just quickly clean and wipe everything down and then plan where everything will go. Where do you need to put things? What do you need to keep? Is there anything you have just because you have? I mean, if there's anything that's redundant, it is time to recycle or perhaps send it to a charity shop. What will you let go of? And look at some of the foods that you're putting back in. Look at the expiry dates as well. And really, are you gonna eat some of those things? How long do you have them in the cupboard? So this is kind of just a refresh, a resetting of everything that's in the cupboard. It's remember just to focus on the outcome, focus on the lifestyle you want. We're going to align with that energy or with that theme of what it is so say if it's abundance you're, you're not going to keep any worn out or broken stuff if it's with ease or comfort or the shabby chic you know mismatch is spot on and, and how you would bring that out if you were bringing kind of ease and the shabby chic sort of theme out then it would be little bits of everything it would there would be lots of variety in that and some more traditional foods and maybe then something really modern so you will align what's in your cupboards with the theme that you're going for the energy of that new food food lifestyle that you're going for or if you're looking for perfect order then you'll want everything to have a purpose you'll want everything matching and nicely lined up whatever the energy of the food lifestyle is that you want we're going to align with that your store staples when you see everything in one space, it's easy to see exactly what you have and what you don't have. Go through what your staples are, wipe down all the jars. You're going to check your expiry dates, obviously. Now, everything has a place. You know, if you're going to use it within your lifestyle, it has a place. So you have to figure out where is the best spot for the things you use more regularly. Obviously, you're going to have them in the most easy to reach places. For things you don't use as often, put them higher up or tuck them to the back. So common sense here, just to give you ease of movement through your kitchen. Now, quickly to run through some store staples for you. Olive oils, sesame oil, any oils that you like to cook with. Think you're cooking, you want to use it with salads as dressings. So oils and vinegars, you could get white wine vinegar, your balsamic, whatever it is that you like. Think about what it is because we're going to make a, a list. This list is going to be something that you'll check in on maybe once a month. These are things that tend to last longer and you're going to have a few of. So things like tins of beans, or tomatoes, passata, things like that, you're gonna to tend to hold more of nuts and seeds. It's handy to have a few bags, your walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, whatever it is, the chia seeds, whatever it is that you like to eat. It's always handy to have at least one dried pasta, it's not a food I use a lot of for fresh pasta, but it's always handy to have one dry pasta in the cupboard anyway, because just in case of emergencies, it's, it, you can just grab it and, and cook a meal very quickly. And grains as well, your rices and all of that. And think about how you're going to store them. What containers are you using for storing your rices as well, just to keep everything clean and airtight. Herbs and spices, that is personal preference. Whatever you like to use, we all have our favorites that we go to each time. So make sure you have those there if you like to cook with them have them with the pestos and the sauces we use a lot of pesto i'd always have a couple of jars in the cupboard i'd have maybe one or two pre-made sauces just to have as i say in an emergency when you want to throw something together quickly everybody's store cupboard is different because you know we we have our own way of cooking and our own way of eating so think about what you want get a variety but the store staples are your core go-to ingredients that you can really knock a few meals together quite quickly from. So that's what you're aiming for. You really should have enough there of kind of really foundation cooking for a couple of weeks. And it's this is the stuff that you will replace, as I say, once a month. This is what supports the fresh food that you're buying that comes in on top. But 
this is this should always be here and available this is your foundational store it just takes a few minutes to sit down work through what you have what you need and then all you're doing is topping up it'll only take it'll only take maybe half an hour to do this um you'll fly through it storage really important one here look at what storage you have even down to the cupboard space that you have and then the containers you're using to put things into the cupboards right what can you reuse what can you recycle what do you want it to do for you what do you need it to do for you so go through what you're keeping your food in is it effective does it work is it necessary this is really is a spring cleaning here so look at your storage how are you using it how is it working for you if it's not working you need to change it. and this is all about getting things working efficiently your storage so should support your food lifestyle it shouldn't be an obstacle that you need to work around every week you need to have place for the food you want to eat you need to have place for those store staples so if it's not working for you the way it is this is your opportunity to change it and to make it work for you it you know this is where you get over those hurdles and sort it out once and for all and this is a clean sweep of your kitchen this is everything just really you know keep a clear head and just go tackle it the next lesson is the fridge and freezer again it's going to be a quick lesson but i'm going to highlight the different things just to just to bring them to the forefront of your mind this is stuff you already know but i think it's important just to remind you of different things at this time so that you get the best result possible from this overhaul that you're doing for your reset.